around dropping in on the Volvo. This is the Volvo 850, the state of the art in safety. Well, in fact, it's only half an 850, and here's why. There are a variety of features, starting with these chassis legs that stretch all the way along here down through to the floor pan. Then there are the reinforced sills and, of course, the door pillars. But what people are really talking about is the side impact protection system hidden underneath the seat. These strong black bars go underneath the seat, and the idea is that they absorb the shock of a side impact, therefore stopping the whole passenger compartment from caving in. Very significant when you think that statistics show that 20% of all accidents are, in fact, side impacts. Saab have announced what they call the second generation of 9000s and for a car that already has a reputation for being tough as old boots they paid even more attention to safety. There's new cross beams under the floor and as you can see in this exotic cutaway model with its orange coloured additions they put in new strengthened sills, new door pillars that tie into them, a new roof that ties into the door pillars and a new rear end. The whole thing builds up to a, an absolutely impregnable safety cage. Now, as you'd expect, they feature anti-lock brakes as standard, but the car also has electronic traction control. That means if the system senses a front wheel is about to spin, it backs off the throttle, irrespective of where your accelerator foot is. But it's not just in the executive class that safety is becoming important. As Nell showed us earlier, the Astra is the first car in its class to have front seat belt tensioners as standard. In fact, in impacts of over 12 miles an hour, the belt tightens automatically just when you need it. And Vauxhall reckon that it could reduce head and neck injuries by as much as 20%. Let's see how it works.